actually did not look at sin, said he did, but he had a need to tell in a different way. So, it, so he looked different. He looked better. In his own mind, okay? he wasn't a, a savage, lust-filled killer, but he was this guy who just, he just got mad. The bitch made him mad. <laughs> so, you know, and these, um, it's, it's very curious how guys will, with some guys, with some men, I'm going to deal for Ted Bundy to avoid the death penalty if he pled guilty and uh, to a life sentence in Florida, Utah, and Colorado, and Washington, more or less. And everybody knows we're going to do it, and he turns around and says, I'm not going to do it. Um, so in, in Miami, when he was in the cell, I had come there to, I not represented him anymore after he turned down the plea bargain, but I was going to be a witness in his trial. And he was, we spent four or five hours together. That's when he gave me most of the details. He told me he killed more than 100 people, and not only women. And he was crying, which I've never seen him do before. So he's a sociopath. And most sociopaths don't cry. And most sociopaths never say they're a bad person. And Ted looked up to me and he said, John, I want to be a good person. I'm just not. So that to me was really interesting because most sociopaths never admit they're evil at all. And I think Ted really knew he was evil. 